Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a baby sock bouquet, but not just using socks. This is my first time attempting this, so um, I hopefully it will turn out alright. So, the first thing I got were these garden canes um, for the green sticks. You can use like skewers, but I couldn't find any, so and I thought these were a bit thicker and sturdier. And I cut them in half, so I've got smaller ones. Um, so I'll show you, I'm going to use, um, these are mittens, um, the little scratch mitts, but a pair of those, uh, this is a washcloth, a pair of socks, a hat, and some bibs, and I'm going to show you how to roll them, the different things up, so I'll start with a bib, so, um, this is, um, just quite, you know, I guess they're quite cheap, but the, um, plastic on the back and a sort of velcro there so turn it over fold it in half and then start here at this end with the, where the sort of neck area is and you just want to tightly start rolling it when you get to here where the main bib is fold that up and as you hold it down keep rolling and then there's your flower. So to hold it in place, I did. I, I watched them on YouTube, and a lot of people are using florist tape, um, but it just wasn't working. So I managed to find some green um, sticky tape because um, florist tape isn't actually sticky. Um, it kind of sticks to itself, but it's it just sort of feels like wax. Um, and it's not sticky though. And this one is sticky, so I take a bit of this and I just wrap it around the bottom to hold it all together. And then I get one of the sticks and the end that I cut I leave at the bottom because I'll um, cover that in a minute. And then I take the sort of the prepared end as it were and you just stick it in the middle of sort of the end of the rose as it were and then with this tape turn it round and you want to kind of start to bring it up towards the stick and it's kind of bending it and twisting it at the same time so you get a nice shape at the end and then once it's all up once you get reach the stick wrap it around the stick a few times so that it's secure and then cut it off and there we go right so that's now secure but it doesn't look very pretty so I get the florist tape and then I literally just you have to kind of hold it and stretch and it's sort of when you stretch it it sticks to itself I hope this is in shot uh, yeah, stretch it like this, go around a few times to cover up that sort of garish green so it looks a bit more natural. Just keep winding it round and then, oh, I think that's the problem. Uh, it's very fiddly this because it's not sticky when you've got to change angle you've got to make sure you keep it tight and keep pulling it carefully <laughs> and that you don't want to pull it too tight because then it snaps and it's really fiddly stuff this flourish tape to work with it took me ages to sort of get the hang of it so don't worry if you don't get it first try just keep practicing I got very frustrated when I started doing this because it is tricky. Right, and then I'm just going to uh, basically wind it all sort of at a diagonal um, all the way down the stick. And yeah, and then you end up with, let me find another one. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> um, and it looks like that. And then at the end, I just fold it up to cover where I cut it in half and there you go there's a that's a bib rose 
um, I'll just show you how I fold the other ones with the sock I got these ones that have got like fluffy bits on the top um, and all I do is um, I roll from the toes all the way up and then I bend this over so like almost tucking it in itself and then you get this sort of fluffy looking rose um, so bend the ends over and then obviously you haven't got a hole to attach it to so all I did was um, take the stick and then sort of push it up against the side and sort of bend it over a little bit and then put the tape round for that and do it the same that way uh, the baby cloth, uh, like washcloths it, um, fold it sort of in four ways so like that and then in half again and this one you just roll it you want sort of where the open edge is to be the sort of top part of the rose and then just keep it quite nice and tight and then there you go put the label in and with this one what you know there is a hole you can put the stick in and then wind it around that and that will look like this one when it's done the sock one will look let's find one I did um, yep yeah, that's a sock like that um, the baby hat I just did um, can't remember now <laughs> I think I just folded it up like that and then just rolled and then yeah secured and then put the stick in there and secured that and there's my other baby hat the blue one yeah and it looks like that which I think is quite cute actually so I'm gonna have two hats I've got lots of bibs and uh, baby cloths look like that um, yeah, I'll show you the ones I've made so far. Um, this is all of the ones I've made so far, which I think they're coming along once they're all arranged. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and then to sort of add to it, I bought some uh, sort of fake silk roses um, in white and blue. Um, I got two bunches of each. And uh, once you sort of imagine those with this round and like so, you know, a bit like that, um, you know with tissue paper and I've got, um, I think this is supposed to be a bin but um, I thought it would make a good vase but I noticed that when um, I put these in it's so top heavy that it's, it's falling over so I bought some um, bubble bath and lotion and I'm going to wrap them in tissue paper and Put them in there to weigh down the um, the sort of vase, as it were, because it's just too hot, top heavy with all the um, socks and bibs and everything. So I'm gonna finish off. I've got all these still to wrap, um, and then I will show you putting it all together um, with tissue paper and ribbon and everything. So back in a second. I just looked and realised a lot of it was out of shot, so uh, sorry about that. Um, but I didn't show you how to do the mittens. So now I've got two different types. I've got this size and I've got the little ones, as you can see there. Um, definitely a lot smaller. Now with uh, there's lots of different ways to do the mittens actually. Because they're so small, um, you'll probably want to do a couple or two together. With these big ones, I'm just going to roll this one up. And then hold it tight and then um, get the other one, the matching pair, and start from the opening and put this rolled one on top of it and then roll it around it like so. And then we have that. Focus. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put a bit of um, clear sticky tape just to hold that and then I'll put the green tape around in a minute. So that's one way. Now with these small ones, I'm going to use three. Um, I'm going to uh, do what I just did um, with that one, with the other ones. I'm going to roll 
that up and then put it on this one and roll it up. So I've got two there rolled together. I'm going to put some sticky tape just round the bottom to hold it. And then with the other one, I'm going to turn it inside out. And then I'm going to put with the sticky side where the sticky tape is in inside, right? So it's turned inside out. Put it in the middle, like so, and then turn it over like that. So it's sort of right way round now. And there you go. This is um, I got a six pack, so there's three in this one, three in this one. So I think that looks really cute. Um, and then you've got that one sort of a tight rose. And then with these, obviously it's quite difficult to attach to, but you just take a stick and um, you just have to sort of lean it over and fold sort of the excess material over and then tape it around there. So that's how to do the scratch mitts. Right, what I've done so far is I've got the sort of vase and I've wrapped a ribbon around it and I've stuck uh, a bit of bling on the middle and I've put inside I've got the um, bottles uh, wrapped in tissue paper and then I've put this tissue paper on the top and then what I've done is I've put all the flowers um, all the socks, mittens and everything that's what it looks like right now um, and I've just bound them all together with some tape um, and now I'm going to dismantle the um, fake flowers because um, I don't know if you can see, but like one's long and one's short, um, and you can't put them in together. So I'm going to use wire cutters to cut them apart. And I've also, oh, I just fell on the floor. Hang on. <coughs> I've also pulled um, some of these leaves off, and I'm going to attach them to the top of the um, cloth, like things like that, so it overhangs um, when it goes in there. So. Um, yeah, I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. Right, here is the finished bouquet. I have wrapped it all together. Um, I showed you the ribbon and the bling on there. This is a little card I made um, to go with it. Um, it's three and a half inches by three and a half inches square. And I've put um, little diamantes um, wrapped on there and I've put tissue paper on the inside and that the piece of resistance as it were hang on, let me stick my hand down the back of the pot da -da! I put these little star lights in and wrap them round so it looks like that fortunately lighting is not very good but because it's late but there we go my first ever baby sock or baby cloth bouquet so I hope you guys like it I think it turned out really well so I hope my friend likes it when I go to her baby shower um, this weekend so yay I think I did a good job <laughs> thanks bye